So now we're gonna start talking a little bit about how metabolism is different in different types of cells in the body. So we're gonna introduce you to erythrocy erythrocyte metabolism. This is another name for our red blood cells. So first let's think about our erythrocytes. Erythrocytes do not have a nucleus. They do not have mitochondria and they do not have ribosomes. So really erythrocytes are just a sack of hemoglobin that's responsible for um, transporting oxygen around our body. Now, since erythrocytes don't have mitochondria, they can't do the Krebs cycle, they don't have that electron transport chain, they can't be synthesizing ATP that way. However, erythrocytes still need some ATP. They need ATP in order to maintain their cell membrane, maintain the proteins that are lining their cell membrane. So how can erythrocytes get ATP without a mitochondria? Erythrocytes are going to rely on the lactic acid system. Now we talked a little bit about the lactic acid system during our Energy Foundations lecture. So the way that the lactic acid system works is we will take glucose, glucose will, under, will go through glycolysis down to pyruvate. Because remember that we can produce a net two ATPs in the process of glycolysis. Now from there, um, if we wanted to continue to run that process of glycolysis, we would need to be able to take this reduced NADH and oxidize it back to NAD. So um, what happens here is we take that pyruvate, the end part of a glycolysis, and it can go under, it can undergo a chemical reaction to be converted into lactate. And in the process, it will take that NADH and oxidize it back to NAD. Now we have NAD available so we can go and run this first part of glycolysis again, generate that little bit of ATP. Um, so what happens to the lactate? So the red, the erythrocyte is going to secrete the lactate out into the bloodstream, and that lactate is then going to travel through the bloodstream, go back to the liver, where the liver can use that lactate for gluconeogenesis to produce more glucose. So this is called the Cori cycle. We're gonna talk about the Cori cycle a little bit later today, um, but for now, suffice it to say that um, the, the way that an erythrocyte is going to generate and fulfill its ATP needs is through this lactic acid system.